it's working. Now to spam everyone with the link to this because spam. So, in case you hadn't figured it out just yet, what you are about to watch was recorded from a live stream, as will be the videos in this series, I believe, because this is going to be a mini-series. So, I have some soda here, I have some Kerbal Space Program, and welcome to the Stupid Science Division is what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to name it as such right now, Stupid Science Division. Ah, uh, yes, okay, so we need the science. In order to science, we need to... Right, command module pe capsule thing. Um, you know what, I, I want my staging, damn it. I really want my staging. Uh, oh, you know what, I don't have ladders yet. Okay, that's a bad idea. Uh, I got, a, I got a brilliant idea. I got a brilliant idea for this first rocket. Oh. Uh, wait. We can make this work. See, I want him to be able to get out and then get back in. Uh, on the launch pad. So that's why it needs to, it needs to be like this. Uh, let's see. We need some stability. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is a ridiculous design. I hope this works. This may not, he may not even be able to get back in the pod, in which case that's like horrible and stuff. So, let's put one of these here. We'll put a transmitter to transmit one science. Or maybe we won't. Actually, we we won't. Um, Sub-assemblies are completely pointless at this point. Really? What is this? This looks failed. Yes, yes it does. This is going to be called Spam 1. And this will be the first in the Spam series of rockets. I like how... I like how wobbly it is on the pad. Hold on, let's take an EVA report here. I believe I can do this. Let me see if this works properly. Oops, that's the wrong button. Now I should be able to get off and take a second EVA report and a surface sample and keep it, keep them both and now get over here climb back up, get back in um, let's see, what do I need to do? okay I think we are ready for <laughs> ah, it's wobbling so much brilliant, I was about to throttle up and then I realized that was completely pointless alright, ready, set FIRE! Okay, that didn't make a crew report. That was supposed to make a crew report. Uh, okay, keep the data. Now let's take another... No, let's review the report. Let's go ahead and transmit it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't bring any transmission devices. Okay, so this rocket's pretty much pointless. It's already served its entire use, and it's not even... Like, we're not even gonna gather any data up here because... Oh, it's gonna start flipping. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, I'd risk getting Jebediah out to um, take an EVA report, but I don't want to lose Jebediah. Actually, I might be able to pull this off with the... Um, okay, let's see. I, I think I can actually pull this off. All right, all right. So, EVA report. Okay, keep the data, get back in. Oh, I have to dump the experiment. Okay, fine, I can't do that. Darn, I have too many EVA reports already on board or something like that. That's rather unfortunate, but yes. Now we're back on board. Gonna time warp down a bit because I want this to be over quicker. Jeb will respawn um, normally, but I actually turned off crew responds because I want hard mode. Wait, did every single part on there survive? Seriously? That's awesome. 25.5 science. All right, so let's go into the R&D and research us some basic rocketry. Now let's see. I need this rocket for later on. I... Cepatron 1. I'm gonna need those. I don't need the solid fuel boosters, but I need the rest of those. I don't need any parts from this stack. Basically, my goal right now is to get a space shuttle that I made back in point twenty one, able to be used. Now, I don't need any parts from survivability or from general rocketry at this moment. So I'm gonna try and avoid getting anything I don't need. So right now, I do need parts from stability in order to, uh, in order to make it, though. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get stability. So, no landing legs, because we don't need landing legs. Because where we're going, we don't need roads. I'm gonna need general construction, and I don't need flight control directly, but I believe I'm gonna have to get it to get parts that are accessed later through it. So, I don't know about that. But of course, right now I can't get either of those, so that's kind of irrelevant to discuss. Also, uh, let's see. 
Okay, so the Spam 1 was a huge success. Unfortunately, we're gonna need an entirely new design, which is going to be called the Spam 2. Stuff. Happens. Yeah, that looks totally legit. Okay. So, command pod, as usual. Um, I guess, you know what, I'm, I'm thinking I'm not even gonna bother putting a transmitter on here. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm thinking we should try to go to the moon. Not land on the moon, but just go there. Um, so maybe I will bring a transmitter. I should bring a transmitter anyhow. We can transmit in between burns. Um, let's see, I'm not sure how, how I'm gonna do this exactly. I haven't used basic parts in so long. Like, I'm used to having all the abilities, you know? I'm used to having all the stuff. But uh, I hit the wrong button there because I'm an idiot. Ooh, that, I just realized how potentially dangerous this is. Because without the struts to help you lift off, to help you be stable, sometimes you can break an engine off. Oh shit, I don't have struts either. This is potentially very, very dangerous right here. This could just blow up in my face. I'm making my launch stability strut devices things. Oh, that doesn't, that's not working the way I intended. Alright, and then just because I don't feel like this has enough thrust, even though it probably does and will probably blow up, um, we're just gonna throw on some SRBs on the outside because more boosters, right? That's the way it works. Okay, the Spam 2 should be ready for deployment, except for the fact that I like to have all my rockets, like, sitting on the ground as they would be in the VAB. Use pods as nose cones. Uh, yeah, no thanks. I, I don't see the need of that because... I know they provide additional torque, but I don't really think I need additional torque with this design. Um, hmm. Then again. Then again, it is pretty insane, and I don't have any... Yeah. Okay, so two empty pods there. And you know what I almost forgot? I almost forgot to bring the goo with me. <clears throat> that would have been bad. Alright, so we have two goo containers. Actually, let's... Let's take four. No, that's three. Let's take four goo containers. Right? And uh, our goal is to fly by the moon. I don't know if we'll make it that far, or if we make it that far and still have a lot of fuel, I'll try and land. But, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, this is really just random shit that I'm throwing together at this point. Um, let's see. Staging is all good. Save again. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> going quite well so far. So far. Okay. Friend, I really should be doing science and transmitting it right now, but I didn't think to because I'm an idiot. Observe the mystery goo. Transmit the data. Take a crew report. Transmit the data. Okay, pitch all the way over to 90, or to the horizon rather. I mean, we're already on 90 pretty roughly, but, you know. And that's another Zerbishu, transit it. Okay, let's, uh, Zerbishu, transit it. We'll run out of power, we'll run out of power. Let's go. We'll get to the scene of it, and we'll be taking more power. Sorry, man, your only time to get powers is five against the same one. But you have the whole speed, you have the station on there. We should have the, oh, uh, you click on your name, and then you do stuff. Hmm, I see you, I trust you. I see you, I trust you. I trust you, I trust you. Because sometimes I still trust you. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Good, pretty good. I need to change our position a little. Zerbishu. Oh, interesting. Let's take a look at that. Oh, dear, we need more power. Well, I was getting chance. There we go. We are now in orbit. And we are slightly spinning, but I don't I don't care. Oh, thank you, camera, for randomly moving a bit. Let's observe the mystery goo. 